guys, welcome back to the channel, Woman and Jerry. My name is Greg. Today we're gonna be working once again on the Archdale vertical mill. We're gonna be machining a retaining sleeve for the bearing journal that unfortunately I've cracked the last time. This job's gonna mainly happen on the coaches salate and a little bit of the drill press. So without further ado, let's get going. What I have here is one of my old disc rotor from a uh, Volvo V50. I'm gonna skim the OD, I'm gonna face it, flip it, and then attach this a couple of bolts on the outside, and then I'm gonna bore a 119.2 mil ID hole. RPM is 192, just take it light. Okay, so this side is okay. This side, ah, oh, look at that, guys. Oh, I have to cut the corners off. Thank you. 
Oh, it's too hot. I think I will transfer the four bolt hole pattern. Yeah, it's just a clearance hole. I'm not sure what kind of bolt I'm gonna be using. Three eighths, yeah, seven sixteenths maybe. Okay, so I've drilled the first hole off camera just to make sure that everything lines up. I just put an M10 bolt in it and I'm about to drill the opposite side. Uh, it is a four step drilling process. So I start with a two mil end mill, uh, sorry, two mil drill bit, and then a four, I've got a seven, and then I've got a ten.
Okay, let me just give you a quick update where I am. So I've machined this um, bearing journal to the proper size. This is a very, very loose slip fit for the bearing. I didn't really want to put any pressure on this casting anymore because it's cracked already. Put the original bearing journal up. I put the sleeve that I've machined. The bearing is in, the shaft is in. The shaft will come out a little bit this way because let me just show you what's going on here. Because I've turned down about like good uh, seven eighths of an inch over here that the shaft went that way seven eighths of an inch. So that means, I don't know if you can see that, this main uh, Woodruff key where the main, um, what is the warm gear is, it needs to come back this way seven eighths of an inch. So what I will do, I will take the, the sorry, I will take the whole shaft out and machine down whatever needs to be machined down. Everything is going according to plan and it's spinning, it's free. The other bearing over there on the other side, it's not properly placed in because I just don't really want to stress the casting anymore. Yeah, so far so good, I'm happy with it. Oh, by the way, that's the new um, Arsday vertical mill that I acquired the other day. It's exactly the same as this one except that wasn't bell driven that was a motor driven which is over here and that motor will serve this machine really, really well in the future forgot to say that i will machine another end cap over here that's gonna be i think either seven eighths or an inch thickness i shall say because there's gonna be a little bit of a reach there's gonna be a little bit of a lip that will put tension on the bearing so it will sandwich it between the original bearing journal and the cap and also there will be an oil seal because i want this bearing to be oil lubricated as opposed to greased i'm not sure how i'm gonna do that i might just get a tube out somewhere here and just yeah um, um route it this way somehow i'm not sure i haven't come up with a plan but if it's going to be a 7 8 to a 1 inch thickness, uh, my steel over here, I will have more than enough space to put the oil line in and therefore this main bearing will be oil lubricated as well. At least that's the plan. And as you might know, not everything goes according to plan in this garage. I think there's gonna be a wrap for today and stay tuned for the next episode where I will be machining down this shaft and hopefully put it back in the machine. Alright, thank you so much guys. See you in the next.